consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding. Well, I don't know how much more I can turn it down. Or what faster encodings I could possibly use. Hello, folks. I was just complaining at OBS, complaining at me, so... Anyhow, I am going to record this as it is, come what may. Um, I'm trying to use OBS a little bit more here than just the built-in Windows game recorder that comes with Windows 10, um, which I, which was convenient to use. However, it has been having trouble recording my voice, which has been very annoying. Anyhow, this is about the, th actually it's about the third attempt. I, I've done a couple of tests with OBS here. Um, between then, and the last time I tried to record this thing I tried to do here. Um, so this is the third attempt at me trying to show something that I'm doing here. Now I am borrowing a bit of a page from Herr Rappenschild because there is an engineering problem that I'm trying to figure out in this game, in game. And and Rappenschild has this habit of placing down the blocks he's thinking of using, building them, and and looking at them. Now. I have been building airlocks using the timers and uh, built-in game components and I've been having issues with the tanks filling up with with um, oxygen over time. I mean you use them, cycle in and out a few times and these tanks start filling up it, with, with I guess residual oxygen I guess you could say. Stuff that doesn't get purged out during the cycles and it builds up and it builds up and finally the tank gets so full that it can't empty itself um, and then when you open the door when you're supposed to evacuate the chamber it evacuates out the door instead of being evacuated into the tank because it can't hold anymore. So what I've been doing prior is I had these tubes set up and I would slog up here, insert a section of piping, go back to that station there, set the main tanks of the base to um, stockpile. It suck all the air out of the tank. Then I come, once that was done, I turn stockpile off, come up here, cut away that section of pipe, and, and then have to repeat the process every time. And then what I decided to do is I needed some kind of system where I didn't have to constantly fly up there and weld and grind and what a pain, right? So I figured, you know, I've got two things here that I might in the game that are stock that I might be able to use as a sort of valve. So the first one I thought might be good could be the, um, oh I'm blowing into my mic here, the advanced router, router, the advanced rotor, right? Um, however, it takes up two spaces, right? As these blocks show you here, they take up, they, they take up two spaces uh, when you, when you um, build them. Um, at the same time, you can put something on this, the rotor part, or what I, what I was called a head, and it will take up one block. I was thinking, well, you know, we could get that to take up one block if we just build it and then put a block on there, like a conveyor or something. However, um, though you don't see it, I actually do have some video footage of me fighting with this until I accidentally canceled the recording. And yeah, I couldn't get that to work. And I, was, I thought it would be, this would be a better solution than my other possibility, which was, of course, a connector. Uh, now, if you put two connectors, they, of course, will also take up two blocks. But you don't need two blocks in order to build it, because ironically, even though the rotor, 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 the rotor takes up two blocks, and you can reduce it down to one if you connect it, the way the build was going, it would have to take up at least three, and then you'd have to have something to push the rotor body onto the head, which was attached to the other end, which would probably involve something like pistons, which would increase the length not only from two or three, but probably make it to a length of five or more. Because a piston is three blocks high when it's contracted, if I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so a minimum of five, probably six, because you need that one block spacing in between to make it work. No, so I settled on the um, the uh, connectors. And as you can see, I have them set up on both um, on both airlocks here, and it works pretty well actually, right? So I have them built facing each other, and of course I call them valves, right? So this is the in 
the uh, docking bay valve one valve in. No, this would be the valve out, and the one facing towards us is the valve in. And similarly, we have the industrial area. The industrial area airlock has similar setup as you've seen before. Uh, the one, the one on the left is the valve out, and the one on the right is the valve in. And I got those set up. I tested them. It works. Uh, hmm. A little bit laggy here. Okay, and I'll just park my butt in this chair. And as you can see on my hotbar, I have the connectors and the oxygen tank. So let's take a look at that. So this is for the industrial airlock valve out. Right, currently it's set to switch lock and it's off. So is the other one. So these are isolated now from the main oxygen oxygenation system. But if I were to switch them on, they'd be connected and then they could um, pull oxygen or have oxygen pulled from them or what have you to the rest of the system. But we don't want that most of the time. Normally we want them isolated because we don't want them being attached to the main oxygen oxygenation system most of the time because uh, it, it could, it, I mean, if uh, it's just a good idea to have them isolated, so you're not you're not using up the oxygen. Uh, that's not the term I'm looking for here. So you are not putting more oxygen in the main system than it can take, and then you can't cycle your airlock properly, and then you're back to the same problem of having to uh, vent your your oxygen into space, which you don't want to do. And of course, you can also see I have the tanks here. They are set to stock uh, toggle stockpile off and on on and off, right? So, yeah, and I find it works. Uh, it's a little weird because I find when I'm watching the oxygen levels in the airlock tanks go down, nothing happens. But if I just jump out of my chair and I skip over to the oxygen tank and I go and examine, uh, uh, I can get over there. Oh, get in there. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, you go in here and then the percentage will suddenly drop to zero. It, it'll be down to zero all of a sudden. If you're watching it, it won't do it. <laughs> but when you're not looking, it just does it like that. So I, I don't know if that's a bug in the game or if it's something to do with uh, um, the recording pr software I've been using and am using right now. Um, interfering, if you're interfering in the physics of the game, but... I'm pretty sure it's working normally. It's just some weird thing happening, but it it does work. So yeah, so I mean that's that's just the engineering solution I came up with. I'm pretty sure someone else came up with it first, but I haven't seen any YouTube videos on it. So I'm sure once again I'm sure they're out there, and someone just might decide to show me that they are already out there. But yeah, that is the solution. So your oxygen tanks get too full, then you just have to come down here to a control station or some other panel or what have you. Ugh. Come on, OBS, let me sit down. And then you would just connect and you would turn a turn stockpile on, but um, right? But we don't we don't need to do that, so I could turn that off. Yeah, so I'm I'm pretty happy that that worked. Um, again, and it wasn't the solution I was orig originally going for, but the solution I was going for turned out to be untenable. So yeah, that's the only reason I had these out here. I had a whole other spiel about how I was borrowing a page from Hair and Shield, and it never will be seen now, which is too bad because I think that's a pretty neat thing that he does there. He shows off the blocks that he wants to use for a particular. Uh, engineering attempt he's going to undergo and talks about what he thinks kind of what he what he thinks is going to happen and he, what he hopes will happen and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't and it's kind of a neat uh, neat thing because that is kind of pretty much how it goes in normally in real life right you know you have these ideas of how things will work and you go to alternatives and you try try them out and see it works best and that's that's exactly how it's done in real life in most most circumstances, you've got a good plan. You just don't know some of the details. you got to try things out. All right. That's me. I'm done rambling.
I'm going to go park my butt again and I'm going to end this video and maybe if I, if it recorded well this final time I will <laughs> I will uh, ah. I will upload it see you later folks bye bye